No, not card one. Um, so it's gotta be card two then, right? Yeah, it's card two. Ah! We made it to the next section! Aha! Look at this! Lieutenant, it appears that John Cena is a hostage on this ship. I thought he moved on. I guess that's where he's a hostage at. Oh, crud. Well, we have the, uh, we've seen the message now. And I think I heard that apparently if you, um, do punching instead of knife now that I think about it. I was looking into this game, you can sometimes get rations and ammo from dudos. I think. Let's see if that's true. Yeah. Not him. From the hit game, Live Alive. Uh, because I need supplies, like, right now. It's kind of the case, you know. Oh, there's some ammo. Cool. I'm just gonna keep on saving state, like, all the time. This is what I'm gonna be doing. Ah get! Come on, get swolled! Ah Maybe I can assign the save state hotkeys to my controller. It'll make things easier, for sure. Well, how the heck am I supposed to get past these guys? The ship seems to have started! Oh! Well, we made it to the next level! No supplies from you or anything. Alright, well, um... I don't know. Get swolled! I'm not getting supplies, I've been lied to. But yeah. Are they wearing no shirts? I think they're just brown shirts. No, actually, maybe that is no shirt. You might actually be right. And they're all pretty swole, too. If that's not, like, a heavy jacket over top. Like, I'm the most swole. But if they're actually not wearing, you know, like, a hoodie that looks like it would be there or something. Or some heavy jacket. Then that means that they're pretty swole, too. Again, not as much, but pretty decently swole. <laughs> not even six anchor arms can save him now. <laughs> I used to be a wimp like you. But then I got anchor arms. Now I'm a jerk and everyone loves me. Well, there's some ammo, which is cool. But yeah, back when you played, there was only written facts slash guides. I can't imagine playing this like a... I mean, I guess if you played it back when it was, you know... Oh, sweet! A lot more recent of a game, it would be a lot more reasonable to do. But, you know, playing it from a modern perspective, it's like... Wow. Oh, that's actually a door. I wasn't 100% sure if it was. This is my first oxygen tank. I got- oh, I got a truth gas. A singular truth gas. Neat. Ah, I didn't swole him! <laughs> Bam, get swole. We're back here again. So we did that little loop. Just gonna keep on saving state. Uh. Okay. Come on. Bam. Yeah, I have a singular truth gas in my inventory now. Bam, get swole. I outswole you. Not by a massive ton, but I still outswole you. Uh, no, no. Whoa, my good, gr ah! I screwed myself. I actually screwed myself. I didn't screw myself. Wow. Oh, and a ration. A dedicated video essay? This game is not getting a dedicated video essay. Absolutely not. The fact that it's getting coverage at all on this channel is already, you know, something that I never thought would happen. Yeah, same energy as the bananas has gone bad from Dead or Alive Beach Volleyball 2. Was that a line in that? I mean, one of, some of the lines in the original English Metal Gear were pretty wacky. Like, I feel asleep. Or the truck have started to move. You know? So that had some pretty legendary lines. One truth gas. Wow. Incredible. Don't shoot. I don't know anything. So I think this is where you have to use the truth gas, right? So equipment. So truth gas. How do I use it though? Metal gear. 
has no weak spot. Let's destroy the ship and ammo dump. So I use my truth gas on that. I don't know what you mean by let's destroy the ship and ammo dump. Is that really worth using a truth gas on? Probably not. I guess it's just some additional information, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, we do have a knife and a lot of weapons, but apparently my single thing of truth gas and what works. I'll just hold on to it for now then, I guess. Real Gamer has a dedicated video essay on this game. I already have, like, a dedicated video essay on, like, the most niche game imaginable in the form of my Live Alive essay recently. You know? That's the thing, Bob. <laughs> I'm curious no weaknesses. Which one? There's, like, five of them. Yeah, which one is it? Oh, is this another truth gas or something? I got- oh, I got grenades. Yeah, those look like grenades. Definitely. Oh my goodness, I went right into that one. Well, I'll still get the grenades, I guess. I'll still get them, I suppose. But, uh, isn't that niche since it's modern release? But it's still pretty darn niche. It's still one of those things that, you know, almost nobody's really gonna have heard of, you know. It's a thing. I'd say that's still pretty obscure. I would argue, at least. Well, whoa. Darn you! Or maybe I'll try going this way first. I don't know. Alright. Ah, you're free! John has moved to another place. Sorry, Snake. Your princess is in another castle. Is this just, like... Us try to save John like Mario's trying to save Peach. Is that basically what's going on here? And we're gonna exact revenge because it's Snake's revenge. It looks like there's something important in the bottom of the ship. Wow. We never heard of it before this channel, but that's the case with the decent amount of Switch games. I mean, yeah, there's that. Instead of having it's a heck of it in like three different directs, they mentioned it in three different directs. I don't know if I, you know, say that they necessarily advertise the heck out of it. It brought it up in one direct, and then it got a couple trailers on the official Nintendo channel. But, you know, most games that are releasing on the Switch are going to be able to get a trailer on, a, you know, the Nintendo channel there. Especially if there's something, you know, from a company like Square Enix, you know, is a thing. But, you know, I see new trailers coming out for game after game on Nintendo's channel all the time. With me having never heard of any of them. Doesn't mean that I go out and play them and, you know, then they're no longer niche for me. Aha, I get swole and stuff. You know, something between niche and mainstream, maybe. I still think that level is pretty niche, so. Well, I just looped around! So what am I missing? Alright, I'm checking the thing, Rebob. You know, if this game Snake's Revenge is harder than the Game Boy one, but you don't remember finishing either of them. I don't plan on finishing this. I'm just gonna get as far as I can, speaking of. But yeah, John Master Chief from the Halo series is stuck on the boat and you must rescue him. That's what we're doing. I'm going to skip through this video. So, wait. No, that's just the grenade room that he makes it into. Got grenades. So it gets a whole bunch of those. Don't shoot, don't know anything. Yeah. Is that dudo? Okay, there's a top part of the ship with some plastic explosives, apparently. And uh, a flare bomb. I think I heard when I was looking up stuff with this game, you need the flare bomb in some much earlier segment, or else you can't beat the game because you can't signal a helicopter during the final sequence, apparently. So go to the northern part of the ship to get a flare bomb. Yeah, I, uh, I saw the trailer for that because I know it's been mentioned around, gosh dang it, around the channel before. And looking at that, it's like, wow, that's, you know, triangle strategy right there. Is what that's looking like. If I had the time, I'd try it out, but I don't know if I do. <laughs> is the, uh, is the case, you know. My schedule's already crazy enough as is. No rations or anything. Big sad. <laughs> wow, they're blind to the swoleness. Wee. Alright, so this is just plastic explosives. I got plastic explosives. I have ten now. Can I hold more than that? Or is that my capacity? Okay, I can hold more, apparently, still. Apparently, I can still hold some more. Alright, that's as many as we can get there. 
Um, use Pokemon as representation for our niche levels. What would be the most niche thing of Pokemon type? What would that be? Big Smackaroos. But yeah. Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> so inspired Final Fantasy Tactics your favorite games. So that's even more hype. Maybe I'll have, like, Tactics Ogre on the mental list of things where it's, like, maybe one day. Be like the magic conch shell. Maybe someday. Ah! Darn you! And no thing, Robs. Okay, where did this guy get his thing? The flare whatever the heck, because I think I need it. Even though we might not beat this game, I still think I'm gonna get it anyway, wherever it is. Oh. That's, um, whatever the heck thing, Rebob. Yeah, and he's Pokemon game would probably be Pokemon Duel game. The arcade one? What do you mean, arcade Pokemon Duel? Are you getting Pokemon Duel and Pokemon Tournament mixed up? Because Pokemon Duel was an app that was based off of the trading figure game, is what it was. And it has a kick-ass OST. Quite frankly, I played Pokemon Duel when it came out. Are you thinking about Pokemon Tournament for arcade systems before it came to consoles? Alright, I'm checking the thing, Rebob. Where the heck was this? Oh, I didn't even notice that this was a door that existed, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, I mean, arcade thing where Bob's probably wouldn't count there. The trading figure game and arcade thing? The trading figure game was a trading figure game with actual physical figures that were sold in store. And you would, you know, have these figures. It's in the name, trading figure game. And then they later made, you know, a game kind of inspired by that that was released on mobile devices. Pokemon Duel was a mobile game when it was, you know, made into an actual video game. Yeah, it's apparently the door right there. So I missed this, apparently. Ah! So I think that's important. I got a Flare Bomb! Pokemon Duel in arcades? I think you're thinking about Pokemon tournaments in, po in arcade. The fighting game. I don't think that there was anything about Pokemon Duel in arcades. It was a freemium app that was made, like, years after the actual trading figure game was discontinued. Alright, what does Mr. Judo actually do to progress past this area, though? So they go around doing things, they truth gas the guy, and then they do what? Wait, where the heck is this? That's a door? Wait, what? Whoa, 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 wait here. What screen do they go to? Whoa, 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 wait. They also have a lot of food. I don't know where they got it all from. But, uh... Apparently, this is a door. Friend really into Pokemon Duel, you play it for fat minutes. Tells you how to grab on Kyogre okay, Duel figure way back in the day. Like, physically or just, you know, the game itself, Pokemon Duel? I remember the early days of Pokemon Duel back when Radio Nikulus was a super OP thing. But yeah. Remember an arcade game that was not Pokemon? A wacky. Gosh darn it! Well. So apparently, this is a door. Because that was super evident. You know? How could I have uh, not seen it before? I guess I can't go down any farther. Oh, I can. And what's down here? I mean... So my mouse cursor is still on the screen, sorry. Um, <laughs> Fortune Street for Wii Monopoly with extra stonks? <laughs> Sweetly something. That would be... Gosh darn it, man. Do I not have the right key then? Can I not do this yet? Yeah, physical figures, but you had no idea that it was a game until the mobile one came out years later. Well, oh, just saying that you had no idea that they were meant to be used as a game and not as figures. I was about to say, that sounds very strange. I had no idea it was a game until the game released. It's like, yeah, it wouldn't be until the game released. But if you mean, like, in terms of actually using the figures as a, uh, as a game, then yeah. I got you then. That makes more sense. But yeah. Let's see here. Let's see. Get out, Swold. Then this way. Getting better at the spacing for things. So how much of that do I have now, anyway? I have three. 
Alright, so we're starting to get a decent smidge of things there. I still need some other thing, I guess. What? What is it? What do you want? Hey, Snake! Are you okay? I'll see you soon. <laughs> okay, bye, sweetie. <laughs> I love you, too. Oh, man, what? This game. But, yeah. Remember, thought they were a really cool figure. I don't remember how you got them, though. I wish that I realized that they existed back when. I probably would have picked up a figure otherwise. But I had no idea. We What? Here are three graves for you! Ha! 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 Oh, it's the second boss. Oh my goodness gracious. Um, okay. Well, you know. Am I powerful enough to take on the uh, second boss here? I only have 15 grenades. So I might not be able to do it at this point. But yeah, I want to take the hookup of Fortune Street stream made it should be that the online for the game shut down in 2014. I don't know if it would ever happen there. <laughs> we already have enough things that we're doing on this uh, channel here. Is the case. You know, I don't want to... I usually try not to be a sell... A sellout? A shellout? Whatever the heck the word is. But if it's for a good cause, let's just say that uh, when we're doing a charity event, I might have more incentive for things for, uh, you know, if it's helping support a good cause. Um, let's just say that. Oh, but I need to... Gosh dang it. So I'm not usually a sellout, but if it's for a good cause, why not? Maybe. I don't- I want- I don't want to make any promises if things can't happen, but, uh... Okay. Ow! I don't know if I can do this at this point. I should use my truth gas. That's what I should totally do. Wow. I don't know if I can do it at this point. I mean... I don't know if it's, um, quite feasible here. I mean, wait. This is ridiculous. I don't know how the heck. Um, but yeah. Um, is the case. Oh, I was just referring to as like charity events in general. Like this is technically a charity event right now. It's like the mini special stream before the actual big stream is stream. But we'll just have the thing about active for the next foreseeable while, essentially. So hold on. This dude is exploring around, getting other things, flare gun that other way. And then um goes and gets flare again. Oh, stocks up on flares. I guess you can stock up on those. Um, three graves, they're in the boss fight. And they equip grenades. And they just kind of skedaddle around chucking them. They only have a capacity of 15 grenades as well and are the same rank as me, so it should be possible. Just kind of skedaddle around lobbing them one at a time. And it's possible. And then eventually dropping plastic explosives for the last little bit. So it is possible! I can do it. Also, you know, I'm I'm saying that like, you know, partially serious, partially joking. Again, the game schedule's really crazy around here, so even if there was, you know, you know, something generous going on, like I don't want to make any guarantees considering, you know, <laughs> the game schedule is really, really crazy here, and the semester in university is way, way crazier than I thought it would be. And, you know, Scarlet and Violet is right around the corner. I'm right in the middle of Mario Plus Rapids. I'm still in the beginning of Persona 5. I haven't even touched Octopath Traveler Champions of the Continent in a good while. I don't know what's going on with Xenoblade 3. I don't know what's going on with Minecraft. So, you know. At the uh, at the same time, I don't want to exactly make any promises when I'm barely able to keep up with things as is. You know. Um, yeah, it kind of is, but ah, uh, well. <laughs> That's something that we'll cover this upcoming December. Will be the case. So I can go through here again, right? Yeah, the Mario Kart community streaming and streams can be fun. I think the last Mario Kart community stream literally only had uh, Anima and her boyfriend hopping in, though. I don't think there was a lot of people around for uh, that one. 
So what the guy did was basically just like this, doing laps. Like this. Yeah, I think uh, that's the way that it seemed like. Gosh dang it, like it was for most, I guess. A lot of people not quite able to make it. You know, the idea of Fortune Street is funny. What even is Fortune Street? I've heard the name before, but I know like nothing about it. So this is kind of what they did. Take on this boss. Ow. Can't even take another hit. So I mean. Yeah, it's not actually Monopoly. It looks like Monopoly, but it's better in every way. Oh. Okay. Boopity bop. So around we go. That's one down. Gosh dang it. So then they do this, I believe. I didn't put down plastic explosives that time, apparently. Oh, maybe I can only have one down at once. Maybe that's what's going on here. Maybe. Maybe it's only one at a time. Could well be the case. How much health? I got stuck! Am I even damaging him? I'm- I'm stuck again. I got swole shamed again. Unbelievable. I'm getting- Oh! I'm getting mail! The freaking extra life notification! That mythic just donated five bucks! I appreciate that mythic! But yeah, I made the first charity donation. Look! Now mythic's the top donor over here is the case. I do appreciate the five dollar donation there, mythic. I do appreciate it. Um, but yeah, wait. Why are sumo wrestlers tossing bombs at you? I don't know. Why is this a game that exists? We will never have the answers to these questions. Sometimes we may never have it. Just those kinds of questions. Alright, I think I'm starting to understand it. I had a lot of fun with Mario Kart 7. I think uh, I had the most fun when it comes to mobile Mario Kart gameplay playing uh, Mario Kart DS. Just because that's probably when I was playing the most, you know, handheld console stuff. Is the case. Oh, I'm starting to understand it though. I think. Getting the swing of things ish. Well, I'd rather. Gosh dang it. Take one out sooner rather than later, so maybe I'll commit to the center guy. Haven't played any Mario Kart since the Wii? That's a little while ago. So let's see here. No. No. Explosives. Ah! Can we play Mario Kart 7? It's technically possible. But it's a little bit tricky to be playing that in multiplayer. Because I don't have a 3DS capture card, so I'd have to use Citra, and you'd have to make, like, a room there, and a whole bunch of people would have to be using Citra together. And that can be kind of tricky potentially am i i am doing damage to this guy right i hope otherwise i'm probably gonna have to look back at the vigia and see precisely what mr dudo is doing so did your grenades just do a whole lot more damage than plastic explosives I mean, these guys just have way more health or something like what's going on here because i'm burning through my plastic explosives and it doesn't really seem to be doing much. I'm looking back at the video. I don't, oh my goodness, they're flashing as I froze it. So, where exactly he puts them? He, like, turns. And puts them, like, in the, uh, in the thingamabob. He, like, does that. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, when you saw Mario Kart, your brain went Meta Knight, then Mortal Kombat, then Mario Kart. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of MKs. There's also a whole bunch of ACs when it comes to games, a lot of which have been done on this channel. There's Assassin's Creed, Animal Crossing, Astral Chain. I wonder if there's any other ACs that I'm missing. Whoa. Aha! Okay. 
That's boss two down. All right, yeah. Well, air conditioning. I'm talking about video games, though. But uh, <laughs> well, boss number two is defeated. Ah, a new key card. Okay, I got key card number three. All right. You know, I wasn't sure how far we were gonna make it in this game, though. Honestly, gosh dang, I have to equip like key card two again. To get through here. But you know, we're making some our key card one. We're making some good progress. We've taken down the first two bosses. You know, we're, we're getting through it. Okay. We're going. We're going places. So now... I don't know, key card three? Key card two? So annoying. Okay. A frog chair? Froggy chair? I got Claymore Mines. What the heck is Claymore Mines? Um... Yeah, you can finish it and make the first review of it on YouTube. Heck yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, I checked out, like, one video on YouTube that basically described what it was and its history and why it wasn't made. I don't know if I describe it as a review per se, though. So yeah, maybe I could be the first proper review review, though. So, Claymore Mine 6. So can I still get more? Did I get three at once, then? But yeah, let's <laughs> see here. How what? Oh wait, can't wait to dis for the distant future when Mario Kart 63 launches and Nintendo realizes that they need to use the number 64 for a release. Gonna be like, what the heck? What are we gonna do? I was not actually trying to do the... Yeah, I'm at 9. So I can still get some more. Call 63 and a third like they did with Clay Fighter. Yeah, they totally will. So am I at 10 now? Or... Yeah, I'm at 10. All right, so I'm at capacity. Otherwise, it would be 12 there. <laughs> yeah, version 1.2. Yeah, do like a near replicant thing or bob. Hello, hello, Aaron. How's it going today? Gosh dang, I took off my key card. Gosh dang it. I can't believe this. I can't believe you've done this. Oh, I have the knife equipped right now. I might actually want to be like swole fists. That's what I might want to do so I get some drops sometimes. How's it going over in the land of Germany over there this fine morning? Alright, you ever heard of Snake's Revenge? It's something that would have never released over there. And you know, it was before both our time. <laughs> no! Gosh darn you! Maybe I'll just go. Never mind. Never mind, I guess. How does he even see me? He just detects nearby swoleness. I don't get it. Bam! Give me some ammo. Cool. Yeah, I just coming from a party, so I might randomly fall asleep. Understandable there, but yeah, going well. Nice, nice. What? What are you calling me for again? Are you just checking in again? Hey, Snake, are you okay? I'll see you soon. Yeah, love you too. Gosh dang it. <laughs> well. No, I'm not picking up the phone. Um, <laughs> something smells like testosterone and motor oil. An intruder. A swole American intruder. Gosh darn it. Guess I can just punch him from there. <laughs> My good gracious. Just constantly saving state out here. No! We're saving state, but are we saving the gains? I don't know. Is it card one? Is it card three, the new one that I got? Is this a new room to the new card? It's not? Really? I tried two, right? Okay, I guess I didn't try two. What the heck is this? I got a flare gun. Okay. You know, Snake had an overprotective parent calling every hour? Apparently he does. Well, I guess canonically he doesn't because this game isn't canon. But, uh, you know. But yeah. <laughs> but in this game, he kind of does. In a sense, huh? So, okay, so it's not in equipment. It would be in weapons then. I have zero flares. So there's no point, like, doing this. Yeah. So it's just a one-off get the flare gun. I think the flare gun was a thing that I was actually thinking about that you apparently need in, like, the finale sequence from what I was hearing online and stuff. I'm just saving Satan, not just playing it without saves like a real gamer. Yeah. Couldn't be me. Honestly, couldn't be me. But yeah. Even in the Metal Gear Solid game, it's like that? I guess we'll find out once we uh, get to the- STOP CALLING ME! I guess we'll find out when we get to the Metal Gear Solid games. 
Damn, they're not giving me rations or anything like that. It's such a big set. Got beat at fist only, no guns, no knife, no explosives, or it didn't actually beat the game. Just go around punching those footballers and those sumo wrestling guys. Essentially. That's a strat here. You're like, I want more rations, I don't want more ammo. But yeah, I guess why they kill parents all the time in stories as awesome as they are. Parents just destroy any coolness. Yeah. Freaking buff snake here isn't as cool when he has someone calling in, checking in on him all the time. Uh, I can just feel his coolness deteriorating by the minute. Alright, so this is uh, one of those kinds of doors. What the heck is this? A freaking metal detector? I got a mind... Oh, okay. It basically is. We got a mind detector. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's exactly what I expected that to be. Um, saw an ad on TV once where the special agent was leaving a mission as mom called and he answered trying to downplay the helicopter noises. Don't even know what the ad was for. <laughs> that was like a wacky ad. Um, then there's you that always makes sure his character's parents are always alive. Yeah. Have them just be big chillin'. Alright, so now we can progress in that other level, right? I think. If we take the elevator down. Because there was that thing that needed a type of key card that I didn't have. And I should probably have it now. Because we defeated the second boss of the game. 